A very happy morning to all of you. I am Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me for this video. In this one, we are looking here at the integral of secant x where secant has a certain exponent and it's even. We're looking at it from even exponent number 2 all the way up to 10. Very recently, I presented something similar to this except we involved the tangent function. And with that, we were able to extrapolate a very good pattern for which we can then apply any even exponent and then determine a good pattern in terms of the antiderivative. This function integral is slightly different in terms of that pattern is not very easy at all to establish because you have coefficients come in which are very difficult to deduce. It's more easy just to actually do the integral rather than find a pattern and it's more applicable for numbers such as these. So we will look at that. A good benefit you should know or a huge benefit is to be able to do these type of binary integral antiderivatives in terms of their integral procedures where these can be even or odd, but primarily of the even. And I'll attach a link to a video involving this specific topic to the tag of this one. And you can review that if you want to. What we will do in this video is we will look at exponents number 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And you'll see a slightly basic pattern will establish, but beyond that it's very difficult to come up with a good one. We will erase everything, then we'll slowly start adding the antiderivatives over there. But you know the secant square x is the easiest of them all because it has a very good antiderivative and that's just tan x plus c. That one right there is so easy, it's done. And we'll just post it right over here. When n was equal to 2, we had an antiderivative tan x plus c. Now what we'll do is we'll start making room for these larger number integrals. Secant to the 4x can be split into secant square x, secant square x dx. You can bring in, of course, you have this one, tan square plus 1 is equal to secant square. I'm abbreviating it. This is a good trigonometric Pythagorean identity. This comes very well into play. This is always equal to that. Bring it in. You have secant square x times tan square x plus 1 dx. And then you open it up. You have secant square x tan square x dx plus. I'm opening it up and separating it across its integrals, their own integrals. You see? It's done. This right here will be a tan x and then we'll have a plus c. Here we have to do polynomial substitution and it's so easy you can verbalize it. If u is equal to tan x du is equal to secant square x dx dx is equal to du over secant square x. See du over secant square x tan became a u and we bring a u square then we have a secant square x and these cancel out. You essentially are left with just a u square du. And you know u squared du is not hard by any means in terms of a antiderivative. It's a u cube over 3, right? u cube over 3, a polynomial integral. u cube over 3. But u cube is really tan cube, right? And let's bring it here. When the exponent was 4, we had this tan cube x over 3 plus tan x plus c. And you will see that we'll always see just positives here in terms of our signs. We won't really see a negative established over here. But that one is done, exponent 2, exponent 4, relatively easy. Now from this stage onward where we have a 6, things will get a little bit interesting. We can look at this as secant square x and then secant 4x dx. This right here, you can really look at as tan square x plus 1 times secant to the 4x. Remember, I'm showing you my way of doing it. There could be a better way than what I'm showing you, all right? I'm not telling you that this is the only way, but this is a good way, all right? You open this up, you'll have tan square x secant 4x dx plus secant 4x dx. Now this I highlight because I'm not doing repetitive procedures here. I know secant to the 4x generates that and all of that will feed right here. All we have to do is really worry about this. Now this is where I was talking about the binary integral tan and secant with even exponents. You should know how to do that. How do you do that? You will do tan square x, separate the secant 4 into two secant square x's, one of which which will get pushed outside and it will get cancelled by polynomial. Convert everything here into a tangent function utilizing that identity. You have tan square x times tan square x plus 1. Bring in a polynomial substitution technique in the next step. If u is equal to tan x, right, and then du is equal to secant square x dx, then you know dx is equal to du or secant square x. All of these tans will become u's, right, u squared and then u squared plus 1, and then the secant square x's will cancel out, as you know, right? This is what we end up with here with regards to a polynomial. You have to open up this polynomial by multiplying it from within. You get u to the 4 plus u squared du, and you integrate this, right? 
and you get u to the 5 or 5 plus u cube or 3 everything here u is always a tan right you'll have tan to the 5x over 5 plus tan cube x over 3 but this right here represents only the part coming from right here and we have to add it to the part which is represented by here and we'll add it secant to the 4x gave me everything you see right over there tan cube x over 3 plus tan x plus c and all of this procedure coming from right here gave me this and i can add it all together tan to the 5x over 5 plus tan cube x over 3 but these here can be added together and then when we add them all together we'll write out our antiderivative over there you'll see it's a little bit of an interesting process it should not by any means be a confusing process because everything very well flows in from the previous step when you combine all of this with an exponent 6 we're really looking at a tan to the 5x over 5 plus 2 over 3 tan cube x plus tan x plus e perhaps the only good pattern which develops here is everything is positive and then you have these components everything here is one exponent order down from your numerical of the exponent right if we have a six we have a five if we have a four we have a three i'm talking about these coefficients here they're very difficult to extrapolate as you add more and more higher order exponents that right there is a difficult part these exponents which will come into play anyhow now we look at secant to the 8x and it'll follow a very similar procedure we will split this up into two separate parts one is secant square x one is secant to the 6x dx secant to the square x can be substituted very easily by that identity right there on the top and let's do it we'll have tan square x plus one and now we'll separate everything into their integrals separate integrals tan square x secant to the 6x dx plus integral secant 6x dx this secant 6x dx has been done and it's right over here we'll add it at the end to what we come from right here you will look at this again in that binary form you'll have a tan square x and now you'll have a secant square x secant square x secant square x one of these has to be saved because it'll be cancelled by the polynomial substitution convert these other ones into this form right here you'll have tan square x right and then here you'll have tan square x plus one but since there are two of these right you can do a double now we have this secant square x dx let's do a polynomial substitution u is equal to tan x right and then du is equal to secant square x and dx dx is equal to du over secant square x this will cancel out with this and you'll have a du all these tans will get converted into u's and let's do that you'll have a u square here you'll have a u square plus one all to the power of square all right now you have to open up all of this it's going to require a little bit of work but it's not difficult you just have to open it up when you open it up we'll work over here you'll have a u square times everything from here you'll have u to the four plus two u square plus one du when you open this up you have u to the 6 plus 2 u to the 4 plus u squared du when you integrate this it's u to the 7 divided by 7 plus 2 u to the 5 divided by 5 plus u cube divided by 3 all of these bringing in the tangents you'll have tan to the 7x over 7 plus 2 tan to the 5x over 5 plus tan cube x over 3 all of this has to be added to all of that because that comes out from this step right over here and everything over here is coming out from this step so now again we have to create space and do this addition i have an individual tan to the 7x i'll rewrite everything over there at the end i have 2 or 5 tan to the 5x plus 1 or 5 tan to the 5x that's 3 or 5 tan to the 5x i have 1 or 3 tan cube x plus 2 or 3 tan cube x which is a 3 or 3 tan cube x which is just a 1 right 3 over 3 is 1 so you have tan cube x plus tan x plus c i have all of this i'm going to rewrite it out for you here in a very clean manner this right here is secant to the power of 8x generating this specific form right here tan to the 7x over 7 plus 3 over 5 tan to the 5x plus tan cube x which is really 3 over 3 tan cube x but that's just tan cube x plus tan x plus c and there it is you can see it's a process but it's not hard so now we have just one more to show you which is the one with the 10 and let's do it we have secant here to the power of 10 x dx we'll do again here secant square x and then we'll do secant to the 8 x dx of course i'll be utilizing all of this 
for what will come out from right here. I have tan square x plus 1 times this secant to the 8x dx. When I open this up, I'll have secant to the 8x tan square x dx plus secant to the 8x dx. All of this right here is going to feed in from right over there. And we just have to worry about this. And we have to worry about this in exactly the same manner as before as a complex binary. We have tan square x, then we have secant square x. But we'll do to the power of 3 and then we'll do secant square x dx. This way I'm not writing too much. Look, secant square x to the power of 3 is a secant to the 6x times secant square x is that secant to the 8x. The only reason why I'm doing this is because this right here is substituted for that. And let's do it. We have tan square x times over here tan square x plus 1 to the power of 3 we have a secant square x dx now we have to open this up and we have to do all of that work to do the u substitution if u is equal to tan x du is equal to secant square x dx i won't write any more because i know secant square x here will cancel out with this and i'm doing the substitutions of u for tan x and let's do all of that Let's do the substitutions right over here. This will become a u square. Tan square x with regards to u becomes a u square. This tan square x plus 1 with regards to u becomes a u square plus 1 all cube. u square plus 1 all cube. The secant square x disappeared and we brought in the du. Now you know we have something which looks like a plus b whole cube. We have to bring that in. When you do this you'll have u square. You'll have here a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. All of that comes in here. You'll have u to the 6 plus 3u to the 4 plus 3u square plus 1 and du. Let's open it up right over here. We'll have u to the 8 plus 3u to the 6 plus 3u to the 4 plus u square du and of course we have to integrate that but I need space and I'm going to use all of this space right here above to generate my antiderivative from just this part right here. Everything else will add to right over here u to the 8 in terms of everything with the tan coming in we'll have tan to the 9x over 9 because all of these are n plus 1 divided by n plus 1 here we'll have 3 tan to the 7x over 7 plus 3 tan to the 5x over 5 plus tan cube x over 3 all of this has to add to this entire expression and we must do that and take this to completion and make it nice and presentable for you. We have tan to the 9x which will stay exactly as is because there's no other factor that's adding to it. But we have a 3 over 7 and we have a 1 over 7 which will become 4 over 7 tan to the 7x. We have a 3 over 5 which will add to this 3 over 5 which will make it 6 over 5 which is good. We have tan to the 5x. That's what I was talking about. It's very difficult to deduce these coefficients in terms of extrapolation. Some of you can but for me it's mentally difficult to do that. We have a 1 over 3 and we have a 3 over 3 which is a 1 that becomes a 4 over 3. Tan cube x then we have a plus tan x plus c. Now I want to put all of this out. As I put it all out I'll verbalize it for you. This right here was a result of the secant to the power of tan x. When you have a secant here with the tan x we have tan to the 9x over 9. Then we have 4 over 7 tan to the 7x. As you can see the signs are always positive. We have a 6 over 5 tan to the 5x plus 4 over 3 tan cube x. But you can see the exponents are odd, right? Plus tan x plus c. It's difficult to extrapolate though. These coefficients for me are difficult to extrapolate or deduce. However, we can attempt to bring some meaning over here with regards to some form of a pattern. It doesn't have to be something very specific but it could be some sort of a broad general procedural pattern that I'm looking at over here. For each step, let a step, certain step be n, nth step or whatever it is. We'll still utilize the n in terms of the exponent. We're always breaking down the initial integral by means of a few steps and this substitution over here into something which looks like this. We'll always end up with some tan square x then we'll have with that attached tan but it'll be n minus 2 in terms of the exponent of what we started like if we started with an exponent 8, now we'll have an 8 minus 2 or a 6 over here. And then we've separated everything here into two integrals. And you know, you're getting an idea of what I'm talking about. This right here will be borrowed from the step previously. 
this right here is what you will actually now compute because both of these exponents will always be even. You'll use this in terms of the binary form that we've been looking at, that specific technique which we address in nearly each of these steps. And this right here will give you a new portion. This new portion here, whatever it will be, will add to the portion coming from the previous step. So this serves as a good general pattern we see over here. You'll always end up with something like this. Tan square x is attached to a secant function, even function, but having an exponent two less than your original question. And that right there is again represented individually here. If for example, we were looking at something like secant to the 14th x, dx like secant to the power of 14 when you look at it in this form you will somewhere down the procedure process come up with something like this tan square x then we'll have secant to the 12x dx and then we'll of course have this secant to the 12x dx here this secant to the 12x in terms of its antiderivative will be borrowed from the step before which represented the secant to the 12x this right here you look at this in terms of a complex binary and you know it'll be something like this secant to the 10x and then secant to the 2x this secant to the 2x will cancel out by the polynomial substitution. This you will convert by this form into a u. All of this will become a polynomial and you'll integrate it. This part will add to that part and it'll give you the whole. And this right here seems to be a good broad general procedural pattern that I'm seeing. But let's end this video with that. In this video we focused on integrals which are of this form secant to the x dx where you have an n exponent and this exponent is even. And you can see everything here before you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.